how I stay ahead of Google algorithm updates. Have you ever noticed that Google is constantly making algorithm changes? The worst part is that when they finally roll one out, they don't always give you a ton of notice. It might be frustrating, but Google's desktop market share is roughly 85.55% worldwide, and 87% of American search engine users prefer Google over other search engines like Bing or Yahoo or Baidu. The bottom line is you simply can't afford to ignore Google or the many, many algorithm updates that are to come in the future. It's important to understand that Google's ranking system actually consists of multiple algorithms. It's not just one easy to understand system. In fact, there are over 200 components that factor into Google's algorithm. The next time you hear an update has been rolled out, imagine it's an entire interconnected process of things, not just one simple lever that's being pulled. Google's core updates can sometimes take weeks to fully roll out. And in that time frame, it's super common to see some web pages gain or lose position. So how can you possibly expect to adapt? How are you supposed to maintain the same level of search traffic when the whole algorithm is so fluid? Here are a few essential tips for staying ahead of Google's algorithm updates so you'll never get left behind. Step one, set up Google Alerts. Tracking every single update that Google makes can be exhausting, but you can't afford to miss out on the big core algorithm update. With Google Alerts, you'll receive notification directly in your inbox whenever algorithm updates are mentioned online, giving you enough time to mentally prepare and tweak your SEO strategy if needed. The way you set it up is that you go to google.com slash alerts, then put in keywords like Google algorithm, and then click on the create alert button. Another great way to stay on top of algorithm changes is to follow Google search liaison on Twitter. Its official account essentially does what Google Alerts does, but tracks social media mentions instead. And while we're on the subject of Google, use their tools such as Search Console and use Google Analytics. It can help you identify unusual traffic activity as well as random spikes or dips in conversions. Major changes in either traffic or conversions could be an indicator that your SEO has somewhat been affected by an algorithm change. Could be positive or negative. From there, you want to check out blogs like Search Engine Roundtable and Search Engine Land that typically covers what's happening. And I also cover them on neilpatel.com. Other algorithm analytics tools like Mozcast or Grub can track daily algorithm changes, giving you the edge needed to stay ahead of other marketers. Step two, avoid black hat SEO practices. It's got a spooky name for a pretty good reason. Black hat SEO is a practice that basically goes against search engine guidelines and includes tactics like keyword stuffing, hidden text and cloaking and buying backlinks and using private link networks and paid backlinks and doorway pages. Some of these practices might just help you gain a short term advantage, but it won't last long and it could even lead to a penalty which could seriously harm your business long term chances of ranking high on Google. You might even get blacklisted. Google's pretty smart. They can recognize when you're up to no good. Instead, read through Google search essentials. There's a ton of White House SEO practices in there that can help you skirt any issues, penalties, or other punishments. Step three, optimize the user experience. Every update has one overarching goal behind it, to show users the sites that they love, that provide the most helpful information and that are most beneficial. Look, a bad user experience can be disastrous for your traffic. According to HubSpot, 88% of customers are less likely to return to a site with bad UX. 90% of customers reported that they stopped using an app because it performed poorly. Long story short, if your website isn't running well, not only will you lose your audience, Google will even make it harder for them to find you. Technical issues can plague your site. Things like 404 errors, redirects, crawlability issues, website security, slow load speed, and overall just confusing user journeys. It shouldn't take more than one or two seconds for your website to load. The longer your page takes to load, the worse your user experience will be. Make sure you also have a comprehensive internal linking structure, a fast loading website, and quality content. You can use tools like DeepCrawl, BuzzSumo, Found, 
and more to see how your website is performing. And you can use tools like Crazy Egg to create a heat map that shows you where people are clicking on your website and where they don't. And you can use this data to improve your user experience as well. Step four, keep your content fresh. I used to not really follow Google updates that much. Why? Because they happen so often and so quickly that it's almost impossible for me to fully anticipate everything that Google will change. What I did was I started prioritizing creating exceptional user-friendly content and stuff that my audience actually wants to read. That includes content refreshes, doing consistent keyword research, and including it in my content, and blogging frequently about high volume search topics in my industry. Remember, a Google update is designed to make the searching better for the user. So make sure you're focusing on the same thing. Step five, use tools that determine what updates are affecting your website. Notice the decline in traffic as of lately? It might not be a random fluke. It might have been an algorithm change. Here are two tools that can help you identify what the heck went wrong. The first is check out Google Search Console. It contains a ton of awesome resources that you can use to diagnose common performance issues and identify potential algorithm penalties. Log into Search Console. It's a free analytics tool from Google. It can help you identify mobile issues, usability, 404 issues. It can even tell you if you have some code that's uh, not reading right by their search engine and it'll tell you what pages that need to be fixed and what code needs to be fixed. Then the other tool that you have is SEMrush Sensor. This tool breaks down what is changing for each industry when it comes to algorithm updates. With these five strategies, you should be good to go and ready for whatever Google throws your way. And if you want even more help, check out my ad agency, NP Digital, where we help companies with their Google problems and heck, all their digital marketing problems. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. I'm here to answer them and help you out. If you enjoyed this video, like, share it, tell people about it. Thank you very much.